understand this is a place for noble pursuits, like the pursuit of knowledge and understanding of the universe. Beautiful. It's important to distinguish your skills from your interests. I hate that I'm good at the things that I don't care about and terrible at the things that I do. Hi, my name's Chris Lowell and I play the boy in Weist. the film Bright as Star about a handsome, uh, unbelievably talented young man with his whole future ahead of him and a million women chasing him. Hi, my name's Rose McIver. I play Charlotte. I get a name in this film which is called Brightest Star, where a deluded young man thinks that he has a shot That's with right. me, and eventually I realise that maybe, maybe he's worth more than I thought, and we should not give any more spoilers. Hey, I'm looking for a book. It's called Evening by Susan Minow. Oh, I could you do that? Sorry. Hello. Did you look up Evening by Susan Minow? I'm in the middle of the entry. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh not one thing. No, yeah. I can't. I'm being paid a lot of money. I think it's that right thing now, where, like, her. often when you really hate somebody on screen, it comes across as you love them because you feel strongly. Because there's a lot of passion. Yeah. You know? So there's this passionate... There's a lot of passion there, but it's it's very negative. Yeah. So after right. today, hopefully, we'll, we'll never see each other again. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're crossing our fingers. <laughs> in terms of relationships, yeah, I think, I think, uh, it would be impossible to tell this story if you haven't felt the emotions that these characters have, have felt. It just reminded me that recently a friend of mine, I went back to New Zealand and a friend of mine had just kind of had his first heartbreak, a really, really long-term girlfriend of his broke up because she wanted to travel and he was left in New Zealand and he said to me, it's interesting because he was devastated and he was so, so upset, but there's a part of him that was really grateful that he understood and that there was this thing that people talked about in this kind of human condition that everybody seemed to experience that he didn't know until he had been through his own heartbreak. So there is a part of me which it's it's awful and it's really painful when you're experiencing it, but you understand you and so you empathize yeah. so much more and it develops you a lot as kind of as an adult. I think uh, Maggie, the director, wanted it to feel universal, which is why the character is nameless. And uh, personally, I think um, I can definitely relate to a lot of the struggles of this character in so much as the biggest struggle being the difficulty between choosing a path uh, where there's something that you're good at and choosing the path of doing something that you actually love and enjoy. And I think that's a really fun struggle uh, to play as an actor. And here we are. Have a seat. This is my office? I can't have my daughter dating some schmuck in a cubicle. This is what we sell. This is who we sell it to. Your role is supervisory in nature, so the less you actually do, the better. And they? You'll be introduced gradually. How? Son, can I give you one piece of advice? Shut up and smile. The embarrassing oh. audition he had was when he tried to audition for an Australian, and he I did a terrible. Me. I called. I called Rose. I was like, "How's this Australian accent?" Firstly, sound? completely overlooking the fact that I'm a New Zealander, not Australian. Well, it's, it's you know, it's a tomato, tomato. Calls me up. What do you think? And luckily, Chris and I have developed a friendship that was close enough that I could tell him it was the rubbish. worst. It was terrible. It, it was, was terrible. And I said, "Just drop it. Don't, don't." She go said, in. "Don't even go in for it." And then I just, I thought that I took that note to mean that I should push the accent <laughs> even harder, which I did. Um, Didn't get the part, so that's Shocker, did not get the job. I love what I do and I'm so, I enjoy it and I'm so grateful and um, it has been something that has kind of just evolved for me. I never really woke up and was like, that's it, I want to be an actor. And it just happened that this was the thing that I kept doing and I kept gravitating towards. For me, I always knew that I wanted to act. It was something that I loved telling stories and I loved uh, being kind of a part and, and stepping into different characters. I just thought that was so exciting, even as a kid. And actually, I, coincidentally, like the, the struggle of my character is that he has no idea what he wants to do. And that was something that, you know, a lot of my friends have struggled with. And, and it's always something that I've been really grateful for is that I, I've my whole life have kind of known sort of what my true north is, like what I really want to do, which is, which is this. Yeah.